from Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. In an effort to advance ilmenite up the value curve as titanium dioxide pigment, producer Nyanza Light Metals is progressing the construction of a Richards Bay plant to process ilmenite produced from the mining of heavy mineral sands. Titanium dioxide pigment is highly valuable, used for applications such as industrial coatings, architectural paints, paper and plastics. The bulk earthworks phase of the Nyanza Light Metals plant has started, with site clearing, leveling, and geotechnical studies underway. Piling and other bulk earthworks are expected to continue into 2025. Nyanza Light Metals CEO talks to Mining Weekly's Martin Kremer about what titanium dioxide pigment is, what it is used for, and also progress made into construction of the new plant. Titanium dioxide pigment is, is one material you touch every day. So it's widely used, mostly used in making paints. So when you talk about paints, you've got what we call decorative paints or architectural paints, which you use to paint your house. Uh, then we also have automotive paints for your car. And then you have industrial coating. So when you're building a plant and you need to, uh, you, you know, the, 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 the pipes, et cetera, need to be painted you provide those industrial coatings. So that's one huge large market. The next big market after that is plastics. So those two probably take about 70% of the applications in terms of uh, where pigment goes. Then after plastics, you also then have things like FMCG, where it's used in sunscreens, where it's used in toothpaste, where it's used in milk. We're not in that market. There's a process in terms of uh, qualifying your product to, to, to be able to serve in the, in the, in the and the FMCG kind of applications. You have other things like inks for your clothes. We can produce that. It's small volume, but it's also quite a lucrative market. Um, but our primary focus now is industrial coatings and paints. That's our primary, and plastics. Those, those are, that's where we would be producing most of our, our pigment. And that's, that's where uh, titanium dioxide pigment is widely used. The phase we're going into, which is construction of the main plant, uh, technically started in August uh, this year. Uh, we, we building that titanium plant, we split it into two phases. We had to do a mini equity close where we had to find uh, sources of funding to start with the construction or the bulk earthworks. Uh, pr primarily looking at site leveling, doing um, uh, clearing, uh, doing the, geot the detailed geotext because we've got the loads now. Uh, and that uh, has been uh, what we started in August. That should run until August or Q2 next year. And at that point, the site will be deemed ready for, for, for the EPC contractor to now take and build the plant going upwards. So <clears throat> if you look at our construction timeline, we, we, we have technically started construction in August. Uh, it might look a little bit slow for now because it's all the bulk earthworks, it's all the site preparation works. And we've worked well with uh, Richards Bay IDZ and the development, the Department of Trade and Industry in, in putting this together. And now what we're finalizing for the main plant construction to happen, which is not on the critical path as we speak, uh, is to work with Africa and Bank and Africa Finance Corporation as the core MLAs to, to put that together. And we think we, we're probably another four or five months to completing that part. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.